talking about the um the game coming up at Celtic Park, obviously really exciting. And one of the memories that I've got from last time you played at Celtic Park was that amazing run you made to get the ball to Mariah to score the winning goal against Rangers. <laughs> is, yeah. is something like that a memory that you can take in and hope that, you know, how excited are you about the opportunity to maybe do something like that again? Obviously this time it's open to season ticket holders for uh, nothing. So hopefully the better the crowd, um, the more they'll get behind us. But, you know, Playing on Celtic Park, that experience hasn't ever left me. Like I always, I've always thought about it. Like it's something that my dad brings up quite a lot. Like he loves that memory. Like even though he was in the house, he was just he always spoke about how nuts he went and the family went. But you know that's a an opp an, an opportunity that I had that that happened on that day, and I've never forgot about it. Yeah. Um, and are you excited? Like in terms of taking on that fixture, it's weird because obviously we're talking about a fixture that's ahead of some of the stuff you've got to play in the meantime, but looking for, uh, ahead to playing Hibs at Celtic Park, you know, it's the big pitch. Is that is that kind of big arena something that you think suits your particular game? You know, having the width, having the space? Yeah, definitely. In the, the formation we play, that gives our wing backs a lot of space and time to take on um, their full backs. And, you know, that'll play into our hands, definitely. Yeah. Mm. And you're obviously hoping for a good result at the weekend to kind of get momentum going. How's morale in the squad at the moment? Yeah, I think we're all looking forward to it. Um, it's another tough fixture, and especially when we're going for that Champions League spot. And, and I mean, the morale's, morale is good within the team, but um, I think we, our focus is on Sunday just now, and we will get to the Hibs game. But um, yeah. yeah, I think we're all up for it. Yeah, I was just wondering, so obviously you've got this big showcase match at Celtic Park coming up. There's been a lot of talk about Celtic playing at in, out in Airdrie and not in the heart of Glasgow. Do you think, is it something collectively you girls feel you should be playing at Celtic Park or in Glasgow a bit more? Um, you know, Airdrie is a wee bit out of the way for a lot of people to get to, especially when it's associated with Celtic and obviously Celtic's home ground is Parkhead. So playing here, I mean, hopefully that'll attract a lot more people to come and watch the game and it's easier to get transport to here so I would just want as many people to get there behind us and playing at Celtic Park it's an opportunity for us all um, but especially for other people to come and watch us it's a wee bit more local. And what would you say obviously the Edinburgh Derby last year attracted a record crowd of over five and a half thousand what would you say to Celtic fans toiling between going along if you might not know too much about the women's team? I would say to them just it's it's a total different experience to a men's game, but you know it's it's unique in its own way. And I would definitely encourage fans to come along and, and see us. It's the complete opposite half of the men. You know, it's another part of Celtic that people can bring along and their kids and anybody. Honestly, anybody behind us is definitely a bonus. Do you um, make a comparison between the the League Cup final win? Um, in December, when we had about three and a half thousand fans, along mostly Celtic support uh, supporters, and the, the sort of an encouragement that was given to the team, and then compare it to what's coming up against Hibs when we could have 10, 15, 20 thousand Celtic fans there, and what, what a buzz that'll be for the team. Yeah, definitely. When it was three and a half thousand fans, every single player that benefited, benefited every single player within the squad. Um, you know. Uh, the more the noise, the more we get up for it as well. Like when we come out there and we hear people cheering and that, it, it gives you some sort of belief within you with, that you might not have before you step out onto that pitch that you will get. Um, so I would definitely say if we could get ten or 15,000 people there, that would be unbelievable. Every time I've been to see the team, entertaining, the quality is very high. People at Clare will talk about this consistently on social media, but the majority of fans still haven't, we haven't got through to them yet, just how good a team that we're, what we have and how, how for the future, we've got so many young players that's developing into something quite special with the women's team. Yeah, we are building an unbelievable team. It's coming to the second half of the season and I would say that we've had really special moments and I, I do think that we'll have more special moments within this season and I would definitely encourage everybody to come along and you know we're, we're a team that's got a lot of work to do and especially with the fixtures coming up and uh, the way the league table sits but 
we, we will build on it and hopefully we can achieve our targets.